we've been here over two years. Mm -hmm. um, it's gone fast. It's gone fast. Um, we came, uh, we left uh, Wasaga Beach and moved to Maple. And uh, we looked for a church for probably eight months we were looking. And then we went to Oakville, went to uh, a church uh, there, the pastor, we knew him. but. Oakville was a little reach for us to go every Sunday and during the week. So he recommended that we come here. He's, he knows Peter and he said, I think that that would be a good church for you. So would be a good fit. Yeah. And that's Paul Charbonneau is yeah. down there. Yeah. So uh, we uh, came for a 30 minute meeting with Peter that lasted two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and we left. We said, well, we said, we're going to give it a try. So the first Sunday that we came, we just looked at one another and said, I think we can stop looking. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, so that's, uh, we've been so happy here uh, since we came. Uh, the people are loving and uh, we love to love the people too. Well, I'll jump in, yeah, because I sort of was, it's tough to try to pick one, but the one that really leapt out, and I guess it's what the Lord wants me to share, is we went with a bunch of people under the leadership of Christy to the food bank, and we sorted food and packed boxes, and that was such an amazing time. It was fellowship for us because we were with our family from Light on the Hill. But it was also, I think, doing what Jesus wants you to do. You know, like I, I just had the feeling that he was smiling. You know, mm -hmm. because you're you're helping you. And Christine had an organized amazingly well, it went smoothly, everybody did their jobs, but there was a light-hearted camaraderie going on. So that was a, that was a special memory. And, and at that time, it was kind of a tough time for us. Mm -hmm. We were going through some mm -hmm. stuff and just to be with everybody was uh, really uplifting, really encouraging. That's awesome. So that's why. Yeah, I'm just gonna take yeah, she's so got My favorite was uh, a little over two years ago, I guess, when they had the baptism outside. Mm -hmm. The baptismal uh, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, anyway, uh, uh, I loved it. I loved the uh, people and how the service went. It was, it was really good. And the, and the, the, the three young people and one adult and the shared their hearts, and to me, that was everything. You go. I go? Okay. Uh, I became a Christian in about 1979. I was only three years old at the time. <laughs> Not true. Um, I was invited by an elderly person at my church to go to a charismatic prayer group mm -hmm. and they were studying on the Holy Spirit. So at the end of the study they gave us an opportunity, you know, to uh, pray the prayer of confession, come to the Lord if we so desired and I did. I wanted that. Mm -hmm. And I've been in church all of my life, but I never realized that you had to make a personal connection. I thought I could be grandfathered in, you know. <laughs> so that's that's how it happened at that prayer group uh, just over 40 years ago now. Uh -huh. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Madonna was a Christian. 
number of years before I, I became Christian. So I guess I didn't have any choice because she and my mother and my aunt, everybody's praying for me. <laughs> and uh, my sister, and, you know, um, my sister still reminds me. You know, I prayed you into the kingdom. But um, Donna and I went on a marriage encounter weekend. And uh, uh, on the weekend, it was, you have uh, couples that present talks to the to the uh, audience, and um, they had a talk. Uh, they had a talk on on death, mm -hmm. and I'm writing this because we wrote each other a letter, and then we met back in the room. So uh, I'm reading this letter, and I'm thinking happens to me when I die? What, what's happening? What will happen to me? What will happen to Donna? You know. <clears throat> so I'm thinking about this. All of a sudden, the Holy Spirit just came on me, throwed me back to my knees beside the bed. Mm. And I prayed and I cried and I prayed that Jesus would come into my heart. I was a railroader, so it was a kind of rough life sometimes. But you know, from that moment, I was healed. From one moment, I was one person. The next moment, I was another person. And I never forget, I can't, I'll ne I never doubt, because I just think to that day, when in one instant, Jesus changed me. I'm still, you know, just like anybody else, a work in progress, but <laughs> he did. He did change me then and I'm forever grateful. Well, <clears throat> I think the biggest job is to listen. That's the biggest job. Because when you pray, you want it to be what God whispers to you, you know? <laughs> and so I think listen is the big one. Uh, I'll like you. I think uh, on the prayer team, of course, there's confidentiality on the prayer team. So if people shouldn't be uh, afraid to come to us because anything they say to us, uh, unless I think Peter said sometimes it's illegal, then. <laughs> <laughs> but anything personal and so on. Like that stays with us. And I would just always remember that God loves this person mm -hmm. who's coming to us for prayer. He loves that person with an everlasting love. And I'd like, I'd like to uh, make sure that person, the person feels God's love. And, uh, because it's, it's there. And so we're the tools. So I would say, I agree with Donna that you have to listen to God, because otherwise you just pray in your own thoughts, and that doesn't, that, that doesn't work. Mm. So I think that's... Ah, uh, you can find whatever you need to survive. <laughs> And we're going to have lots, so we'll share. Uh, so I'll start with this one. We've got tomatoes and peppers. I'm looking at it. Tomatoes, peppers. We have herbs. We have zucchini. zucchini. What else? Uh, oh, we have carrots and uh, sunflowers. And onions. And onions and beets. And in the other, say tomato plant? the other, oh yeah, tomatoes. The other plot, we have potatoes and beets. And beets. That was an and experiment, lettuce. but it is growing. Praise God. <laughs> and lettuce. We have lettuce. Oh, lettuce. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The lettuce. This is the best question. Well, not <laughs> no. really, but no. I love the I love the worship music. So for me, right away. It was Everlasting by Brian Dirksen. I just, I really love that one. 
and we each did two because we couldn't. My other one is by Chris Tomlin, and it is unchanging. You know, you know the rock of peace. La, la, la. I depend on you. I love that one. I love that one I too. Cry out to you. Yeah, I can't, again can't turn and it off. Again. Yeah. I, can't see I think one of my favorite is Agnes Day. Yeah. Uh, and Reckless. Those two, I could just close my eyes and lift my arms and and just uh, just really 